Welcome to Haven's Candies. My name is Andy Charles, and I invite you to come in and see how we handcraft Maine's finest chocolates and confections. Here we are in our candy kitchen. Right now we're making coconut needums. After we cook the batch in our fire mixer, we spread it on the candy maker's cooling table. The batch has to be spread fairly quickly before it firms up. After about 15 or 20 minutes, we're ready to score the batch into individual pieces. And then those pieces will be run through our chocolate waterfall or enrober. Next we're getting ready to make blueberry creams. We use an old-fashioned technique called starch molding in the tradition of the master candy maker. Each individual cream is hand funneled into starch and allowed to set up overnight. Once the piece is set up overnight, we can take them out of the starch and feed them onto the belt of our enrober or chocolate waterfall. We use invert sugar so that after a few days these become creamy again. Once the pieces go through the chocolate waterfall and exit the other side, each one needs to be decorated or marked. This is a skill that is a lot more difficult than it looks. Over the years, we've made millions of chocolates and no two are exactly the same. Here we're getting ready to enrobe coconut haystacks, which is a similar piece to the coconut needum we saw in the kitchen earlier. After the chocolates go through the enrober, they're covered with shredded coconut. That's the decoration on this piece. 12 minutes through the cooling tunnel and each piece is ready for a careful inspection before packaging. Next we're making almond butter toffee, which is the center of our famous Haven's Butter Crunch. The batch needs to be spread quickly before it firms up. We then score the batch and break it up into individual pieces which are coated with chocolate and crumbled almonds to make a finished product that's one of our most popular items. We also make peanut brittle. Time is of the essence as this batch hardens up very quickly. Once it's poured on the table, we need to spread it and then by hand, we stretch out the batch so that you get those nice, thin, crispy pieces that everyone loves. A thousand pound melter feeds our chocolate molding pump. We make chocolates in all shapes and sizes. Here are some one pound chocolate lobsters on the table. No butter required. We also make custom personalized chocolates for corporations around the country. Here we're making milk chocolate nonpareils. This is one of our most popular products and at the holidays we have a hard time keeping these in stock. Each year Havens makes over 35 tons of saltwater taffy. That's more than four million pieces. Each batch is cooled, pulled, flavored and colored and run through our hundred year old taffy wrapping machines. We use these machines because we like the traditional candy kiss shape that they create. Next we're making chocolate peanut butter cups. We hand funnel the chocolate bottoms, dispense the peanut butter centers, and then cover the tops with more chocolate. Now that is a real peanut butter cup. Each year at the holidays we make thousands of chocolate Santa Clauses in all shapes and sizes. We paint the molds with colored cocoa butter before filling them with that warm delicious chocolate. Once the chocolate cools, the color stays with the molded Santa Claus, and this is what you get. One of our favorite holiday traditions is making more than 20,000 candy canes by hand each year. We cook each batch to over 300 degrees and then pour it on the cooling table. A portion of the batch is segregated to make the colored stripes. The main part of the batch goes on the puller, where we add the flavoring. Pulling the batch also makes it white and shiny. Here we're blocking to make the stripes. This batch, when it's completed, will make about 200 candy canes with red and green stripes. The batch is pulled out into a rope and cut into individual pieces. Each piece is then rolled to make sure it's nice and symmetric and round. And those pieces are then hooked to make the traditional candy cane shape. After just a few minutes, these canes will be hard and ready for packaging. Then they head to our stores. We hope you've enjoyed your tour of Haven's Candies. Thank you for visiting.